Recently in Tokyo, at the Big Side Exhibition Center, one of the most interesting and largest robot exhibitions in the world, IREX 2023 took place. This year, more than 650 companies from all over the world presented their developments at the event. The exhibition's theme, A Sustainable Society Created by Robotics, aligns perfectly with the Japanese vision of a bright future with robots. Interestingly, unlike Europeans, in Asia, robots are seen as assistants rather than competitors. It's not surprising that alongside numerous standard solutions for industry and manufacturing, IREX featured a variety of humanoid robots and, of course, anime robots. We have gathered for you the most interesting robots shown at one of the most extensive robotics exhibitions in the world. Enjoy watching! At the previous IREX 2022, Kawasaki Heavy Industries impressed visitors with its concept of a robo-goat for transporting people and cargo. This year, the company brought a variety of robots, mostly humanoid, to the exhibition. For instance, the eighth version of the Kaleido robot was unveiled to the public for the first time. The robot has become more stable and confident in performing various tasks, including handling heavy objects. Kaleido is mainly positioned as a rescue robot, requiring the ability to navigate various surfaces, climb stairs, and perform any physical work with non-human agility. Despite its non-compact design, Kaleido stands at 180 centimeters tall and weighs 86 kilograms. It has 32 degrees of freedom throughout its body. In contrast to earlier versions, the robot now features a face in the form of a screen, allowing it to express friendliness to better appeal to humans. Among the tasks the robot can currently handle are cleaning up debris scattered during natural disasters, collaborating with humans to carry large items, and transporting humanitarian aid, including unloading trucks. It is interesting to note that Kawasaki has been developing Kaleido since 2015. On the other hand, the current time is considered the best for humanoid robots in terms of technological maturity. Also at the exhibition was Kaleido's younger brother, the Robot Friends. It is built on Kaleido's technologies but has a number of differences, designed to work not outdoors but in narrow corridors of homes, hospitals, and enterprises. The first distinction is a slimmer profile, giving the robot a more streamlined appearance. To achieve this, the company had to develop high-quality and compact engines to reduce the overall weight. Thus, the robot accommodates all components similar to Kaleido within a metallic body, standing at 160 centimeters tall and weighing 55 5 kilograms. According to the developers, with the Friends robot, they managed to strike a balance between the quality necessary for industrial use, strength, and a more slender design. Moreover, the robot can safely operate in proximity to humans and even assist and care for them. And of course, a Japanese robot exhibition wouldn't be truly Japanese without anime characters. This time, the embodiment came in the form of Hatsuki, a character created, as claimed, through the fusion of anime, artificial intelligence, and robotics. Standing at a height of 145 centimeters, the robot became a temporary ambassador for the Japanese company Senyo Denki, specializing in electronics and components. Hatsuki is not a comic book character, but rather a test platform for the Technical Circle Cateroid project. Enthusiasts in robotics used it to experiment with the generation of humanoid robot movements using deep learning, human-robot interaction, artificial intelligence research, and operational testing of the virtual YouTuber system. The creators of Hatsuki ultimately aimed to break down the so-called fourth wall, allowing users to interact with the character in reality. The robot is equipped with a motion capture system, can be controlled over the internet, and can directly reproduce movements from anime. Additionally, developers implemented the ability to engage in dialogue with the robot thanks to the ubiquitous GPT. The Japanese company Jinki Itai used the Kaleido platform from Kawasaki Heavy Industries to develop its robot. The Type 01 Kaleido model is a controlled industrial system with force control technology. Its purpose is to remove humans from hazardous environments when performing heavy physical work, mainly in high-altitude tasks in civil construction and energy sectors. The company already has a giant robot for such purposes. The Space Heavy Work Machine is already servicing railway tracks, power lines, and can perform a wide range of tasks where deploying a crane is not possible, one is insufficient, or if it is dangerous to use. The humanoid torso mounted on a truck can handle various tasks thanks to the precise replication of operator movements with the required force. Meanwhile, the operator can be remotely located inside a special cabin, controlling the robot's operations using VR headsets and controllers. However, this behemoth is installed on work machines, weighing 7 tons, and its size and power are not always necessary for efficient operations. That's why a new, more compact robot was developed, combined 
combining the Kaleido humanoid platform with Jinki Itai's remote control technology with force control. The control of the robot is intuitively understandable, with the operator's applied force becoming the driving force of the robot, and the weight and reaction received by the robot being transmitted back to the operator. This simplifies the learning of operating methods. Meijo University, one of Japan's most prestigious private universities, introduced its humanoid robot Moonshot at the exhibition. This home service robot is equipped with generative artificial intelligence, allowing it to memorize human movements and replicate them. For instance, by observing its owner, the robot can learn to hang clothes on hangers. While not the most essential skill, the university plans to expand Moonshot's capabilities to encompass various household tasks in the future. Given Japan's declining birth rate and aging population, the importance of creating robots for all aspects of societal life is a priority for both the government and research institutions in the country. The Chinese company Realman showcased several robots demonstrating the versatility of Realman manipulators. Among them was the Unitree RoboDog with a robotic arm mounted on its back. Unlike its counterparts, here the arm completely replicates the form and functions of a human arm. It looks peculiar but certainly attracts attention. The Real Man robotic arm is a separate product from the company that can be attached to any robot. Interestingly, a robot with two such arms is even available for purchase on Alibaba, marketed as a home assistant. The corresponding videos are posted on the Real Man channel. Real Man takes pride in its robotic arms, assuring that they are extremely lightweight yet durable, strong, and precise. Moreover, they can be easily integrated with any robot. The Japanese company Shibara Machine unveiled a prototype of the dual-arm robot Conoid at the exhibition, designed to support manufacturing. This is the third generation of the robot, intended to possess a high degree of autonomy and perform tasks without the need for training or programming. The Conoid 3, currently in development, is suitable for tasks such as transporting and assembling parts as well as packing boxes. It is equipped with two six-axis manipulators that can operate independently, thanks to artificial intelligence-based technologies. Each arm can move at a speed of one meter per second and lift a load of up to six kilograms. The robot accumulates and learns from its own experiences and can work alongside humans on a moving conveyor. Unitree Robotics brought its latest bipedal general purpose humanoid robot, the H1, to IREX. Standing at 180 centimeters tall and weighing 47 kilograms, the robot can walk at a speed of over 5 kilometers per hour. Its legs have 5 degrees of freedom, while its arms have 4. Although the robot currently lacks hands, developers mention that they will be added soon. The unique appearance of the H1 with its wide torso and slender legs stems from its development based on the company's quadrupedal robots. Unitree predicts that the development of the H1 may take between 3 to 10 years, with the final cost of the robot expected to be under $90,000. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in today's video impressed you the most. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.